Hi, my name is Colin Peebler, and I'm a photographer. My name is Josh Alexander. I'm a professional drone crashing enthusiast. We're two 20-year-olds who will travel anywhere for anything. And this is Season 2 of the Out of Place Podcast. Here we talk about tech, the world of art, and our adventures across the country while taking you with us. We give our unfiltered opinion in addition to showing you behind the scenes of our main channel. So follow along with each episode while we continue to be out of place. Welcome back to the Out of Place Podcast. This is episode three of season two. Today we are in our office. It is currently 44 degrees and it snowed this morning. It is April 1st, 2022. So that shouldn't be happening. We don't know what's going on. No. So, but today you will find us in our cafe, Mm. as we call it here, in our amazing office. And welcome back to the Out of Place Podcast. After you've seen the intro, this is our unfiltered opinions where we talk about tech and news in the world of what we do, which is photography, videography, and such. Um, but yeah, this week we just finished releasing our newest episode of Out of Place, link in the description. We traveled to lovely Midway, Kentucky, where we tested out the TT Artisan 50mm, forgot the f-stop. <clears throat> uh, it's like f1.4, I think. It was good lens, very good lens. It's, it's pretty good. I definitely recommend going and checking out that video and maybe buying it for yourself. Honestly, that lens is really nice. He he hates manual and even he thinks it's pretty yeah, nice. It's really so, nice. yeah. Um, what do you want to talk about today? Do you want to talk about the thing that isn't Will Which Smith thing? and Chris, Chris Rock? Rock? The thing that isn't that. Haha, <laughs> that's how it went. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know how the last like I don't even know how many podcasts about have been about like Apple like mm, like just getting dunked on By constantly. Everyone. Yeah. Well, it happened again. <laughs> what happened this time? Uh this time. So you remember how the EU was like, "Oh, you got to have a uh, uh, USB C cable?" Yeah. yeah, they took that a step further. Oh, that's great. And uh they said, "Ooh, you have software too? All right, we're going to tell you uh how you're doing bad there." And so uh, this is actually pretty big. If this happens, it could pretty much go over to every other country just because it? it would be harder to keep it separate, I think. What is it? Um, if this law passes in the EU, then Apple will have to... Let, let me rephrase that. Apple we will be forced to let iMessage communicate with every other online messaging service. Whoa. So Discord, WhatsApp, Facebook message, Telegram, Telegram Dang. everything. Uh, basically, the EU was like, you're not using SMS anymore, and you're just sending data. It's not that hard to just send the data to other places. So now it's basically making every company, but specifically Apple, abide by that every country who has a yearly profit of above 75 billion euros has to abide by that and so apple yeah so apple mainly and facebook those are kind of the big ones they're going after um it also uh i should also mention that uh they once you are over 75 billion euros and you're in that kind of space where you're not letting like communication and stuff go over through other services, mm-hmm. uh, you were now labeled as a gatekeeper system. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yeah. So um, some other things that are included in the law being proposed is letting users access services they may have acquired outside a gatekeeper platform. Uh, To simplify that, that means that third-party payment systems can be used. Oh. No matter what. And the user can choose which third-party payment system they want to use. Hmm. Um, Here's the one that I don't care. I do truly not care if the rest of this gets passed, as long as this one gets passed. What is it? Because it is, like, it blows my mind that this is still a thing. Hmm. 
users will be able to uninstall any pre-installed software or apps. <laughs> I don't understand why that's still a thing. Because everyone's forced to have stuff. Like with with the MacBook. Can just please tell me how many times I am going to use Mission Control. <laughs> tell me how many times am I. How many times am I using podcasts? I know we have a podcast, but <laughs> yeah, who uses ironic. Apple Podcasts? That's ironic. Uh, what else? Sh Apple Shortcuts. I don't use Apple Short Stocks. Apple. St I can't you know, uninstall Apple Stocks. You know, I'm really just chilling on Apple Grapher. You know, <laughs> it's like every every day I just kind of wake up, I just, roll out of I bed, don't see and I go to Apple Grapher. Why is and that that's not I'm, already I a hang out thing? With. Yeah. You know what's gonna be funny? When I uninstall the App Store, that's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Apple just goes, oh. Yeah. Um, so there's kind of two big main other things that come along with this law. Um, it would allow companies that advertise on gatekeeper platforms to access performance measuring tools. Okay. Basically, uh, a lot of that has to do with making it fair for like third-party app developers being able to use all the functions of the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Like currently, third-party developers can't even use the NS NFC reader in the iPhone. Wow. Apple's like, that's our NFC reader, mm -hmm. and you can't use it. So that's kind of what that's supposed to go through with some other things that are less glamorous, I guess. Um, and then the last thing would be letting business users access data generated by their activities. Basically, that's making it so that everything's transparent. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So the EU is going pretty hard at them, and it looks like uh, they are probably going to go through with it. So that's going to include Amazon, Alphabet, aka Google, Apple, Meta, and Microsoft. Dang. Those are the main ones. Um, Technically, that could go to some other big companies that maybe we're not even thinking of use any of that stuff or have anything blocked like that. But, I mean, that's going to be a big deal. Um, do you know what's a bigger deal? What's that? Actual punishments. What do you mean? If this law goes into effect in the EU, then the punishments are going to be real if the companies don't do it. Like what? 10% for first-time offense of annual income. Dang. <laughs> and for multiple offenses, 20% of annual income. <laughs> Tim Cook's shaking right now, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, like, <laughs> I mean, for Apple, that's like hundreds of billions of dollars. Yeah. Tim Cook is shaking. <laughs> The EU just found a way to pay for all of their, like, electric vehicle... Yeah, they're like, okay, everyone gets a charging station at their house. <laughs> We're just going to take it from Apple. But I think... It, I Honestly, I'm all for it. Yeah. I hope it passes, and I hope the U.S. is, like, willing to adopt it. Because if not, what are we doing? I mean, honestly, why am I not able to uninstall Mission Control? It's, I, I just don't get it. Um, but yeah, it'll also make my life easier because I don't have to like be like, hey, do you got Telegram? Yeah. You can just text people. Yeah, because I, I hate Android SMS messaging. I think it sucks. But everybody who I'm like, ooh, Telegram's really great. They're like... That's weird. And, that, and that's, <laughs> that's the end of the crazy. conversation. Yeah. That's, that's, that's crazy, dude. All right, anyway, I got to go. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So, one th you want to see one thing? I've just been on B&H just kind of vibing. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, flip-out display for the GH6? Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. It just said, all right, Sony, we take that. Yeah. Uh, everything else, we take that, too. <laughs> We're going to make our display move on the X, Y, Z, and negative X axis. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> I'm looking at it right now, and this thing actually looks pretty cool. I don't, it, it is really expensive at $2,200, but I guess when you cross compare that with. You have the, that, and then you have Canon, who like does an innovation every like five years. Yeah. <laughs> Canon does not introduce anything new for like half a decade. Yeah, they're like, oh, y'all have LCDs now? <laughs> wow. We should add that. We've been using CRT tube televisions. <laughs> 
Anyway, well, I just thought that was cool. It's just sitting here and looking at that. Yeah. Honestly, GH6 looks pretty dope. I don't know if they fixed the dang autofocus in it, though. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, it, oh, literally, the most, I went on B&H, I searched up most common questions. The first one is, is the autofocus <laughs> better? Yeah. All right, let's find Fair out. Fair enough. It's still contrast-based, DFD. How it is substantially improved over the previous models. Contrast-based autofocus is kind of stinky. You know what I think? I think we should just start the the transformation to just being uh, complaining about Apple and talking about cameras. I think that's just what our podcast should be. <laughs> we're just going to redo the intro. Yeah. Hi, we and we complain Apple. heavily about Apple, and then we're both like, MacBook, MacBook. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, if you think about it like this, though, we were, like, talking so much nice about Apple for the longest yeah. time. We turned into Honestly, Apple fanboys for a while. I was like, Apple, you're you're doing weird stuff, but it's okay until the studio display. Until the studio display and the non-removable cable. I was like, maybe maybe you're turning this whole thing around. They were go they were so close with this laptop. They were so close to being better again. And then they just said Nah, you don't need to take out the cable or anything. You don't need a power cable. Yeah, Just so, use the wireless charging. Well, Josh, I think it's time to give a round of applause. To who? To me! Why are we giving a round of applause? I did, I did podcast clips. Yeah, he did first, the podcast clips. First clip. two videos I've ever done editing for. Uh, and I didn't die, and it was while I was on vacation, so... <laughs> did you actually edit while you were in Gatlinburg? <laughs> I did actually edit while I was in Gatlinburg, yes. So, uh... Still contrast based. That's Round of applause in. for me for not dying. Um, uh, maybe you can boo me because I like using Final Cut. Boo. Okay. That's fine. No. Final Cut's good. Honestly, I, I like the interface on Final Cut better than pretty much anything. Like, I can't talk anything because like, I used iMovie for like six yeah. years. So. <laughs> See, I'm fine with DaVinci, but Premiere, da Premiere can leave. Premiere can <laughs> get out. <laughs> I hate Premiere so much. Really? Yeah, you go to Premiere and you're like, I'm sure I know what this button does. And then you press it and it's like, oh, did you? Oh, want we're exporting in? this five different ways now. <laughs> Goodbye. I would like to add an adjustment layer. Okay, so what you wanted to say was you wanted to overexpose every clip by 0. 0.3. Pretty yes, much. exactly. But no, yeah, no, Final Cut is, it's not horrible. It's definitely the lesser of two evils. Also, the stink bug on the ceiling. Damn. But... I definitely think DaVinci is my personal favorite. It runs so well on the MacBook. Final, Final Cut. Cut yeah. It runs it's so well. I will, yeah, but it just runs so well. Like it, I'm edit. I'll, I'll be editing in 4K, and it barely makes my fans spin. It's kind of weird. But yeah, speaking of editing native softwares, mm -hmm. this week's video that we're going to be releasing on Out of Place is going to be focusing on video editing. <laughs> Two dudes clapping by themselves to themselves in their office. I didn't even know that. Wait, no, I did know that. Yeah, Never did. mind. <laughs> that was my idea. Never mind. <laughs> I was actually the one who, like... You were the one that was like, we should do it about our computers. And I was like, okay. And so we sat So obviously I'm, the I'm all here in the brain, yeah. as you can tell. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be working on this coming week. I'm going out of town, so it's going to be fun, but then I'm going to come back and... Yeah, basically, we'll once you get back, should we should we kind of give a little bit of a, the premise of sure, it? Sure, go for it. Why not? So basically what we're going to do is kind of test my MacBook and also kind of pit it up against Josh's MacBook because I have the... Now, it's bare, just, hold on. Pay attention. It gets complicated. I got the M1 Pro maxed out, not to be confused with the MacBook Pro. You got MacBook the M Max Pro Pro'd the... out? No. Did you guys? <laughs> you get I the got... M1 Max Pro'd out, man. Uh, I'll just I'll just read off the spec sheet. I got the M1 oh, Pro. There. Oh wow! It doesn't even tell you. Uh, anyways, I got the the 10 core with the what is it? 14 core. I think that's the max. It's either 14 or 16 core GPU on that chip. But I only have 16 gigs of memory. Which I'll be honest, if I was like, if I was doing like heavy stuff all the time, I'd be a little scared. But honestly, it's been pretty fine. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, normally with, how do I want to say this? I'll just do it like this. Currently, <laughs> with with Chrome running in the background, I'm using 7.7 gigs. Oh my gosh. Which is why I'm like slightly concerned, but that's also with Adobe Cloud running in the background. It, it is Chrome. <clears throat> it is also Chrome. Uh, but I'm just Final saying. Cut takes like four gigs of memory yeah. to run. I'm just so, saying, we, we got to the moon on like 10 kilobytes of RAM, and then yeah. one Google tab's like, I, I need 8 gig. Well, to be fair, I still have half of my RAM left. Yeah, you have a new setup. And like, honestly, that's the thing about Mac OS versus Windows, is Mac OS, once you've got like the system loaded up, sure, it's a little beefy in the RAM, but like once you start opening up applications, it doesn't actually take up that much RAM. Yeah. Whereas on Windows, it's lighter weight and once you open an application it just like just yeah. kind of explodes um but yeah I, I haven't had any problems with it the other thing is that um with our macbooks the 2021s and i think the 2020s do this as well they have a swap partition built into the um the ssd so basically once you overload the ram it just takes a swap partition to the drive, and you basically get fake RAM. To I love help fake run RAM. Your computer, so you don't crash it. So honestly, it's been pretty fine. Obviously, this is this is a beast of a computer, but on, at the same time, this is also kind of a beast of a computer too. Um, it renders out 4K video like pretty fast. Yeah, at least in Final Cut. I have not tested DaVinci, da Vinci, but that's da what our video is going to be about, so I'll know that. If you want to learn about DaVinci... So basically, this next video is going to tell me if I have buyer's remorse or not. Yep. About it's going to either make Colin really happy or really sad. <laughs> We're going to find out. Don't worry, once the 2024 MacBook 14-inch Pro with the Ultra Max chip comes out, I'll just get that one. <laughs> <laughs> 2026 when the Apple Mac Pro compatible 16 gig 45 Max Pro Magenta 344 chip set comes out with a 14 inch notch. It's really going to change my life. <laughs> I'll be honest though, I don't think I want more power in a laptop. Yeah, I mean, this is, I, mean I don't even know what else you'd want. Like, after, yeah. once you start getting into 6 and 8K, like, yeah, sit at a desk. Which, like, <laughs> which, like, my laptop can still do, you know? It can't do 6K? Yeah, it can do 8K. Now, B Raw is a different story, but I've done I've ran the um the black magic uh what do you call it? The disk utility. Uh not the disk utility, the other one. The raw where is it? Yeah, the raw the raw cal- speed test or whatever. Yeah. I've ran that, and once you get into that, my computer kinda starts choking after like 5K, but still that's 5K. You could get the Sony A1 that does 8K at 30 FPS. Start editing 8K. Honestly, if you get to the point where you are like... You can't even see 8K on this screen. Yeah, so I don't... If you, Just get a desktop at that point. If I am ever in the position where I'm editing multiple streams of 8K, I'm just going to get the Mac Studio because I don't want... A, you want the Studio I don't, Display? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want... Uh, That's so quick. I don't want to like a heat bomb no. sitting on my lap while I'm editing B-Raw. What if it's winter? No, that's chilly. a different story. I have been able to make this laptop get hot. I will say that. Yeah. But it takes me, like, running Final Cut and, like, a bunch of other things. Basically, I have to run, like, War Thunder and then Final Cut, and then it gets hot. War so. Thunder and Final <laughs> Cut at the same time. Well, you know, when you're taking your War Thunder videos and then you're yeah, and then editing you're them on the fly. On the <laughs> while you're flying. While you're flying. <laughs> No, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really have anything else on my Yeah, end. that's really I'm it. Just gonna we're stuff. just kind of... So poor. We're kind of doing nothing today. No. Mostly it's Apple just messing up over and over again. So the GH6 if they can a stop funky do that. screen. Yeah, it does got a funky screen. Like However, it. it still looks nice. It looks really nice. You could buy the Canon Ivy REC digital camera for $69. Oh, God. Got the, the exactly, Canon PowerShot long boy. It's exactly $69. So <laughs> coincidence? Nice. I think not. <laughs> anyway, anything else you gotta talk about? No, that's pretty much it.
So yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. Yeah. We're going to work on getting Oop done next week. Should be out hopefully Friday if all things go smoothly. No way of knowing. <laughs> probably won't. Probably won't. You know us. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it. If you haven't already, go check out the newest episode of Out of Place. Link in the description. But for us here today, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Yeah, who knows when this podcast is going to be up. And God only knows when the podcast clips will be up. That's so. his job now, not mine. Yeah. Yay. Anyway... Honestly, I'll probably get just do them all tomorrow. Yeah. That's going to be it for us, though. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end of this podcast video. Um, and then we will see you, I guess, this Friday in the newest episode of Boop. If you haven't already, go check out the channel below. Yeah. Adios. Bye.